Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. And honestly, if I was rich, why the hell would I be sitting around at 10.50 at night answering phone calls? Hello, this is Chris. Hey, Chris, how are you? Doing well. All right, Chris. Um, uh, got three specific questions. Uh, are you familiar? Um, I just recently converted uh, a lot of, I bought two iMac, 24-inch, uh, the highest end, and two MacBook Pros. Uh, but I was an avid uh, Windows um, user. Um, I um, using the virtual, uh, but I do a lot of video editing, and I know you're familiar with Nero. Is there anything as close? I, I mean, Nero is a, a fantastic, very quick, very fast, very efficient in the editing, uh, the encoding. Is there anything out there? anywhere close to how um, and what, to what Nero can do. I, I, uh, I've been looking. Um, is there anything, any rem anything remotely close to that? Uh, well, the thing that's going to be the closest to Nero, to my knowledge, is, I mean, in terms of Nero's core competency, is going to be Toast. Uh, Roxio's oh. Toast. Uh, they also have other products for the Mac, like uh, there's, I believe they have Crunch, which converts formats back and forth. Although, for, for my money, instead of Crunch, I would just assume it send you to Virtual Hub, which is like far cheaper. Uh, and when I say far, like half as much, and it's, you know, run by a community member, so I always like supporting the independent developer. But Toast is, is for years and years and years, has been ruling the roost as far as um, burning on the Mac. And, and, and creating uh, uh, that experience. Not like I said, Nero has kind of expanded over the years. It's it's become a lot more than just Nero burning ROM. Uh, Roxio also has popcorn, uh, which uh, you know helps you manage you know backing up your DVDs uh, in in a simple fashion, simple format. I mean, if you're I was always a Nero Express fan, so seeing popcorn and toast and, and the products that Roxio had, I was a lot more comfortable. Cause I don't want to go in there and just mess with. I just want to do one thing: just burn the darn disc. That's all I want to do. Put it in, burn the thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for for that now, before I before I finish or forget, I believe I can get you a, a coupon or a discount for uh, Roxio products. So awesome. don't awesome. buy it without email, either emailing me or talking to me. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Okay, uh, one more time, email address? Chris at uh. perillo.com, P-I-R-I-L-L-O.com. I usually have coupons for a lot of this stuff, and if not, I, sometimes I can get a hold of the vendors and see if I can okay. negotiate something. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much on that one. No problem. Next thing, um, is a uh, the uh, it, also in that is the audio in uh, uh, converter uh, audio converter videozilla is something that can uh, are you familiar with videozilla no i don't think i am okay it's just a converter um, that you can convert any uh, 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 video file to flash okay um uh, or any it's multiple formats um so uh check out video villa uh video villa and uh because it's very fast very efficient it's almost like um uh, uh, i'm sorry nero one last thing um there is uh i just i have vmware fusion on one of my uh um, on my MacBook Pro, on one of my iMacs, I, I just did the, the parallel. Now, are you familiar with uh, Digital Peers, CamTrack, the animation? It, it, it shows animations. Um, huh, I've never heard of it. Okay. Um, all right. That, boy, my main thing was the, the video conversion. So, um, so you're saying that toast and uh, uh, what was that popcorn? Yeah, from Roxio. To, to get what Nero was in in one. Well, it, 
it's as close to it. I mean, there is no Nero for the Mac. Um, the if you're talking about video conversion, there are a couple routes you can go, or even audio conversion. Um, FFmpeg X is a. I, th I think it's well, it's largely free. There are a couple things you can pay for if you want to, but you, most for the most part you won't need to. FFmpeg X it's for OS 10, uh, and then there's also Visual Hub. Uh, visual Hub. Yeah, Visual oh, Hub. Just one, Yeah, two Fs. F F M P E G X. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then Visual uh, Hub is the universal video converter for Mac, and it's it's excellent. I mean, I I registered that thing, and well, one of the best. I think it was like twenty two bucks or something like that. Uh, one of the best decisions I ever made. It's so easy to use. It's so incredibly easy to use. Like, like brain dead simple. Like, it's it's okay. so easy. It's so easy. All right. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, I'm pretty computer sad, especially on the, the Windows uh, operating system, but trying to, uh, uh, and when I just and I just now just recently installed this Parallels into uh, on this iMac. I just did it just maybe about a couple of hours ago. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was up uh, um, installing it, it asked, "Do you want to use uh, for maximum maximum efficiency or something like that?" It recommended. Are you familiar with that? When you or did you use uh, Parallels? I see that you use both of them. Yeah. A fusion or yep. parallel. Yep. I've used both. Well, I use that. I use okay. VMware Fusion pretty much exclusively was, now. But I was looking at some of your blogs, and it looks like you, as far as uh, uh, efficiency, uh, VMware. It, it seems like that is what you you seem to um, believe that it makes your uh, system run a little bit more efficient. Doesn't take as much as uh, well. I, that it's all relative. I mean, you may feel differently, but the bottom line for either one of those is, is I've got coupons for both. So, like I can see, like I said, I can save people money, <laughs> especially on a lot of this stuff uh, that they're yeah. buying anyway. You know, ten dollars here, ten dollars there, it's, it, it adds up. Uh, now, what was the you, you were talking about something in the setup process and asked you about something in parallels? I I, I didn't quite uh, catch the rest of it. Yes, what it was, it, it, it asked, did you want to? Uh, for maximum, uh, let me see, it was, I'm here now, uh, it asked um, more productive virtual machines, recommended allocate more computer resources to the uh, virtual machine yeah. and run guest operating system and, and its applications as fast as possible, or I could have choose, chosen more productive Mac OS X or X10 allocate more computer resources to Mac OS X and one guest operating system and its applications with moderate performances. So I chose the, the more productive virtual machine uh, recommended for the first one. Um, uh, and that was on the installation. And I'm sure there's a way that I could, well, I'm, I'm hoping there's a way if once I find out uh, if it's not Well, you can always go in and change the virtual machine settings. They were just doing you a, a favor and, and trying to optimize those settings for, you know, performance either either way. In fact, the VMware's got the similar option. It's, it's just in the property. In fact, I'll just hang on. Let me come on back. Windows. My windows were flying all over the place there. Uh, let's launch VMware Fusion inside of the settings. Command comma. Right there, it says uh, performance, optimized for virtual machine disk performance or optimized for Mac OS application performance. That's it. Okay. In, in VMware, I don't know, Parallels, I don't have a, a copy of it on this particular machine, but um, it's likely the same thing. They're just helping you get it set up. All right, one, one last question. On the Visual Hub, do you think they have some of the Adobe uh, CS3, like uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, or any of the... Um, uh, or Photoshop, um, any discounts in there too as well uh, uh, for, I don't 
I'll try Adobe. I'll try to get a hold of some people at Adobe. They they haven't been very forthcoming with communicating with us, but uh, if I can try to make that connection for you, I will. Okay, your email address is chris at perillo dot com. Yeah, and we, I post coupons on my blog on a very regular basis. In fact, if you go over that, just Google for Chris, you'll find me. And obviously, you've, you've got the live stream. I'm not going anywhere. Like today, we posted uh, iFrogs coupons. Uh, which are good for like uh, accessories for your iPod, uh, and then we even got uh, like uh, Ponzi. I'm sure will will love this stuff. Uh, we've got uh, Lancome coupons, book closeouts coupons, and then you know I've also got the AudiblePodcast.com forward slash Chris coupon. You can, if you haven't signed up for Audible yet for uh, audiobooks, if you go to AudiblePodcast.com forward slash Chris. Uh, you can get a you can sign up for Audible and get like a free audio book download. Um, so yeah, I, I'm full of m money saving ideas and, and connections. It's just I like saving money. All right, all right, I appreciate it. And do you have any insight on? I've been asking. Uh, uh, I know I don't know when AT and T's uh, contract runs out as far as with the iPhone. Um, It'll be five years, uh, something like that. Whether or not if you know, with Sprint and Verizon, uh, I, I, I am going to get an iPhone, uh, but I just don't want it with uh, AT&T service. Yeah, you're going to have to wait a while or move to a different country. <laughs> well, Chris, I appreciate you. Thank uh, you very much. No problem. Thanks for calling.